cow! Take a look at that! <laughs> it is so crazy to see this. Oh yeah, it's just a little tiny female, but definitely some good eggs. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I'm excited because I have a box here. I'm gonna be honest with you, the contents of these boxes probably something you won't expect because it's something that I've really wanted to get for quite some time. And I was talking to my friend Kevin over at Nerd and he said he had gotten some of these animals and he was like, I think these would be great for the reptarium. And I thought, you know what? You're absolutely right. I want some. So he said he was picking me out a few cool things. He sent me some swag here. Thank you, Kevin, as always. You're always great about that stuff. But for now, I just wanna see what is in here. These bags oh my god it's so cool to get new stuff and this is definitely wild but it's something that I've wanted ever since we started opening up the Reptarium I was like if I ever get an opportunity to get the right ones of these I'm gonna get it and I am absolutely excited and let's take a look real quick oh <laughs> doggy these things are crazy cool oh my god you guys are gonna trip out when you see these look at this thing holy cow Take a look at that frog right there. Oh my gosh, is this thing insane or what? Can you even believe that? That thing looks like an alien. Of course, this is a marine toad and I've always wanted to get a marine toad because they are great for educational purposes. Over at the Reptarium, we can take them out and the kids can play with them. They're usually pretty good when it comes to not peeing on people and look at how huge they are. And these happen to be the Sirenam marine toads, which are the largest of the marine toads. I mean, take a look at that monkey right there. That thing is incredible and I have have to imagine that you guys are pretty shocked about it too like what Brian what did you just get it's not a ball python it's not anything else but we actually got two of them because I thought hey one isn't good enough right we might as well get two so let's go ahead and take a look at this other little monkey I'm just brimming from ear to ear with these things they are so absolutely cool. oh and this one's really pretty it's amazing how different they look I mean look at this little monkey here's trying to jump away hoo, 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 doggy that thing is incredible take a look at these two they look so very very different but they are absolutely mammoth oh my gosh these things are so wild oh man look at the eyes on them oh and these guys will eat mice they'll eat bugs they'll eat just about anything they can fit in their mouth these are absolutely incredible and are gonna be a great addition, not only to the Reptarium, but also for educational shows where, where I go around to schools and different things like this. I needed this because what the problem is, I take Chunky Monkey or an Argentine Horn Frog, they always like to pee. They're not very good at handling. You can see these guys are great about handling and stuff like that. So, and the other thing that makes these guys so incredible is how easy they are to care for. One of the easiest frogs you can ever imagine. So there it is, guys. I hope that you guys like it. Let me know in the comments if you guys are as excited as I am. Tell you what guys, I could get spoiled with this for sure. I come down here every day, it seems like Kelsey has at least one or two clutches of ball fight that's so it's a great time of the year for sure. Definitely killed it this year, Kelsey. So what do we have? First up, we have a head albino female bred to an albino male. Okay, good. So again, just albinos and head albinos, but uh, I think this, this is a pretty big girl here, so she should have a nice clutch. Look at her right there. Oh my gosh, mama. Oh yeah, it looks good. Oh, definitely a nice clutch of eggs. Not a record breaker, but definitely still really beautiful. Let's go ahead and get these eggs. Get them into an egg box really quick. And then we can actually see what she has going on here. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine eggs, not bad way to start the day. And we have a few clutches today. Yes, we do, we have three. Uh, all right, three clutches. So we have two more clutches to go. I think Kelsey's gonna have to take this little egg off, put it over here, and then we can see what else we have down here. Next clutch, let's see what we have here. We have a spinner that was bred to a dragonfly. Ooh, she's got a couple eggs out in the back over there, but it looks like she's wrapped, whoa! Ooh. Looks like she's wrapped around a nice clutch of eggs. And of course that dragonfly is that pastel fire pinstripe. Have all kinds of potential cool stuff here. She is definitely fired up a little bit. It's she's okay, a mama. spicy mama. <laughs> she is spicy, but look at that clutch! Wow. Oh my God, that's another beautiful clutch of eggs. And I'll go ahead and grab these two eggs here to help Kelsey out a little bit. She can get that clutch. Uh, all right, and away we go into the box. Looks like we've got one egg too. We'll candle these two eggs just because they were out of the clutch. She's got to take that one egg off really quick. 
And as we're getting this egg undone, uh, I'm getting attacked by Speedy here. Speedy is literally trying to climb up my leg. He actually goes home for the summer tomorrow. So Speedy, you excited to be able to be roaming around all around the backyard for the rest of the summer? I don't know what he's doing. What a crazy monkey. But nevertheless, how many eggs do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. All right, we're trending in the right direction. Nine eggs of first clutch, ten eggs of second clutch. Again, we'll just candle those last two eggs just to make sure they're, they're upright and move on to the last clutch. I never want to get too repetitive, but I can't help it when it comes to Ben and Jerry. It's just so cool to now see both of their heads eat. Let's hope they do it again. What do you say we try to feed these little monkeys? You guys ready? You ready for one? Oh, there you go. There's one. There. The other one took it right there. <laughs> that was crazy because Jerry usually just opens its mouth and eats it. This time it was like lunging for it and stuff like that. It is so cool to see both of these guys eat. And as Jerry is finishing up, it looks like Ben is looking for some more food. Come on, buddy. There you go, bud. There you go, oh my gosh. It is so crazy to see this. I tell you what, that never gets old. I'm so happy that they're both eating now. And it's so weird that we didn't know before. By the way, when my vet was over last time, she said she wanted to actually put some iodine down them and actually we could radiograph to see where the food goes. We could see if they have two stomachs, what the internal organs are like. So that would be really cool. As for now, I'm gonna let these two little monkeys eat their food. I'll probably give them two or three more fuzzies and then call it a day. Unbelievable. Then this last clutch, oh my God, am I excited about it. I know you're excited too. I am thrilled. This is one of my favorite ball pythons that we have in our collection, and I've raised her since she was just a little baby when I started. Oh my gosh. Her first clutch. Well, you did so good, her first clutch. Of course, this is a Lori Leopard ball python, and it's bred to a Lori, so we could get some super Lori Leopards. Oh my gosh, it looks like Mama is definitely ready to go right there too. It's okay, sweetheart, you're all right. She's got a nice clutch, one little slugger, but that's a nice first clutch. Oh my gosh, again, we'll have to candle that rolled egg right there. We'll probably candle them all just to make sure, but it looks like it's absolutely incredible. Again, one little slugger, but not too bad at all. Look at the eggs are nice and small, but a bunch of them. Oh my gosh, and just so you guys understand, the super is a potential for one in four for a super, and then you've got a co-dominant, so in theory, one in six on average would be a super lorry leopard but hey you could get six eggs and get six super lorry leopards so you never know because of the odds but what do we have here one two three four five six seven eggs. seven eggs so the odds hopefully will be in our favor and we may produce the first super lorry leopard ball right there in this clutch so 54 55 days from now we'll go ahead and cut those oh my god i know i'm excited i know kelsey excited again kelsey you've done such a good job this year thank you over here at the reptarium lori is doing a little touch up of this cage over here. You can see she did a whole big foaming on that side. Basically what happened was there was a little hole where Joker, the scaleless rat snake, could actually get in there. And he started to go in there, we were able to get him out, and then we had to kind of replace him. And again, this is exactly how you do it. You foam it first, then you put a little silicone, then you put this dust on it, and it just kind of blends right in. So Lori has really become an expert on this because she's done probably hundreds and hundreds of hours of it all over around the Reptarium. Oh, Amasuku, you're looking good today. What are you up to, buddy? Hi, little guy. What's up with you? And it is amazing how Apasuku is starting to really calm down here. Just with that target training, again, it's the fact that it doesn't think that there's food and that it knows that we're not feeding it, so it's really good. By the way, look who else is looking good. Lucy's been cruising around. She looks so good. Again, I'm going to give it a day or so, and I'm going to thaw out some food, and I'm pretty sure she's going to eat because she's looking awfully thin in the back there. Remember when she looks so bloated up? I am so happy that my girl Lucy is looking good. You guys know that I'm not going through a day without collecting at least a couple Kluber clutches, right, this time of year? Well, let's hope it keeps that way. Regardless, this is actually an albino corn snake that's het for ghost scale as corn, so hopefully this clutch will be a good clutch because this will be kind of interesting to be totally honest with you. Oh yeah, it looks like it's a good clutch of eggs right here. Let me go ahead and just look at, oh yeah, it's just a little tiny female, but definitely some good eggs. Let's see if we can just slowly get mama out from here. Come on mama, don't roll your eggs, baby. That's okay. Oh, good job. And again, that's a relatively small female. That's about as small of a corn snake as we'll ever breed here. She was a two year old animal, so I'm sure Lori just thought because she had the age on her that she could breed. But let me show you the male that she's bred to. Look at this dude too. He's actually pretty small. 
small as well, but he is absolutely gorgeous. Regardless, let's go ahead and get these eggs out. And for a little girl, that's a beautiful clutch of eggs. We'll just set them right in here. That's two, four, six eggs, no slugs. Absolutely incredible. I think we only have one more clutch of Kluber eggs, but hey, I'm loving this time of year with eggs. <laughs> what are you guys doing over here? It's good that you guys are together, which seems to always be the case. Uh, I want to show you guys something. What do you got? You got. Okay, hang on right there. I'm going to come get him. Oh, right? my God. All right, turn around. I don't want you to look. Turn around. It's a paddle. Yeah. Hang on a second. Okay, you can look. Yeah. Oh, what my the God. hell? Yes. It's Dude, not real. those are huge. Dude, look at the size of that. What That's the like a heck? Chicken. Pick one up. I Dude. do not want to touch that thing. Dude. Come oh, on, no, pick one up. Oh no. my that thing gosh. Is, what? <laughs> what? Look are at the these? size of that. These are Suriname marine toads. What? <laughs> they are huge. Were they crazy? like exposed to radiation? I know, right? They're from Chernobyl. Isn't it crazy? Look at this, Noah. Grab Dude, one. I do not want to hold it. Dude, no, this they're thing. cool, man. You gotta hold they're it. They're not Noah. cool. They're freaky. What are you talking Dude, about? They are this. amazing. They're cool. so big. Hey, look at. Oh, baby. he likes his beard. Oh my. He's a little God. beard baby. <laughs> Damn, these things are strong. What? The heck? How much does that thing weigh? Like thirty? I don't know. They feel like they're like a pound or pound yeah, and a half or something. Pound like and a half, two pounds at least. I think these it's guys can literally get over two pounds, is what I've heard. So I don't know. We'll have to put them on the scale sometime. But are those cool or what? <laughs> this is. Oh my gosh. We have to set them up over at the repair and get them all settled in. But these, I but I had to show these guys. It's been a minute since we collected a Mexican black king snake clutch. I think this girl was kind of on the smaller side, but we'll see how many eggs she potentially has and hopefully they'll be good oh yeah they're definitely good eggs and she is definitely a smaller girl but she looks like she's done yep it looks like she's done but a pretty small clutch just like I mentioned there not very many eggs and that's been kind of the case this year we had a lot of brand new females that were up to size that were kind of on the small side so rather than getting six or eight eggs we've been getting a lot of three four or five eight clutches but next year she'll definitely lay a big clutch again we put that shed out we'll get some water in with her and it looks like if I'm not mistaken there's just gonna be three eggs in this clutch but again mexican black kings are absolutely incredible and are certainly sought after we have a bunch of clutches already on the ground and have a bunch more that are still going to get laid in these smaller girls we won't double clutch but our larger females we will double clutch too so we have a bunch more mexican black kings on the way for sure with that being said that concludes the colubert egg collecting for the day well it's feeding day here again at bhb twice a week so really stay on top of it all and just going through the baby colubrids right now I can't even say baby colubrids because they're growing really fast. We will have some babies soon. Just kind of going through, getting everything fed, checking on everything, and uh, we'll see you guys at the end of it. All right, so we're just wrapping it up here for feeding day. We just got this little Cali King here. Oh, he's hungry today. Drop him another one in there and check him tomorrow. Go through, check for poops, check for mice, and uh, that's about it. Wraps it up. I tell you what, guys, there is your first video of the second thousand vlog that I'm going to be doing. So, 1,001 vlog. And for those of you that joined me for the first thousand, thank you so much. And let's make this next thousand even better. <laughs> Regardless, have an amazing day. I love you guys. Do me a favor, be kind to someone. And I promise I'll see you tomorrow.